Hello friends. Today our topic is cold mix bitumous macadam or CMBM. Bitumous macadam is an open graded mix suitable for moderate traffic roads used for construction of bitumous base course as well as for strengthening of existing flexible pavements. IRC SP100 provides detailed procedure for design and construction of cold mix bitumous macadam. Cold mixed bitumous macadam is laid in one or more layers of compacted mixture prepared with bitumen emulsion and mineral aggregate laid immediately after mixing to required grade and camber using appropriate machinery. And the material for preparing cold mixed bitumous macadam is same as generally used in any other bitumous layer that is you need coarse aggregate and coarse aggregate should be crushed stone crushed slag, crushed gravel or any other rock suitable for construction. Coarse aggregate is the material retained on 2.36 mm sieve. The material passing 2.36 mm sieve and retained on 75 micron is termed as fine aggregate and the material which passes through 75 micron is the filler. The coarse aggregate should be clean, hard, durable and of cubical shape, free from dust and of low porosity. The requirement of filler that is material passing 75 micron sieve in CMBM, now CMBM here is cold mixed between macadam, shall be met from stone dust, cement, hydrated lime or any other non-plastic mineral matter. Aggregates should satisfy the physical requirement as given in this table and these requirements are more or less same as in case of a hot mix between macadam with the addition of two more important properties here. One is fine clay particles which is measured through sand equivalent value and that should be a minimum of 50 and surface ejectivity is to be measured using methylene blue test and that should be maximum of 10. And I have explained these two properties how to determine sand equivalent value and methylene blue test for a fine material in my separate videos you can watch those to understand the procedure. The material passing 2.36 mm and retained on 75 micron is fine aggregates and fine aggregates can be crushed or naturally occurring mineral materials passing 2.36 mm. No natural sand is to be used in bitumous macadam. The filler is finely divided mineral matter such as rock dust or hydrated lime and its Grain size distribution should conform to this. Passing 600 micron should be 100%. Passing 300 micron should be 95 to 100. And passing 75 micron, it is 85 to 100. Aggregates of different sizes should be mixed in suitable proportion to get the final grading as per this table. Now, this is the final grading suggested in IRC SP100 for 50 to 75 millimeter layer thickness of cold mixed bitumous macadam and emulsion bitumen emulsion by weight of mix should be minimum of 5 percent and the important criteria here is that residual bitumen should be at least 3.5 percent the sand equivalent value should be 50 minimum and crushed faces in case of gravel should at least be 75 percent materials are bitumen emulsion and aggregates Bitumen emulsion can be of medium setting or it can be slow setting of grade 2 or any other tailor made emulsion which is suitable for premixing of bitmus macadam. Conforming to IH8887 or other international standard like ASTM or ASTO, actual grade of emulsion will depend upon the characteristics of aggregates. If the sand equivalent value of the aggregates is 50 to 70, then it is suggested to use SS2 grade of emulsion. And if it is more than 70, then use medium setting grade of emulsion. Emulsion is added to the aggregate after adding pre-mixing water. And requirement of this water is generally 1 to 3 percent. RS1 grade of emulsion shall be applied for tack coat at the rate of 3 kg per 10 meter square on primed WBM or WMM surface. In case 
the CMBM is to be laid over existing bitmap surface, the tag coat of RS1 grade shall be applied at the rate of 2.5 kg per 10 meter square area, which should also meet the requirement of bond strength. And this bond strength I will explain a little later. Now, preparing bitmus mix for cold mix bitmus macadam is a three four step process. The first step is testing of aggregates. Aggregates should be tested for their physical test, physical properties as mentioned in a table earlier. And similarly, bitmus emulsion should also be tested as per IS8087 or any other international standard. Then the aggregate available at site should be mixed together in a definite proportion to get the desired grading. And here you can use any of these three methods for mixing of aggregates that is trial and error method or analytical method or graphical method. After mixing the aggregate in a suitable proportion to get the desired grading, then the next step is to get the job mix formula for bitmus macadam. In case of hot bitmus macadam, we do not provide any job mix formula because that's a recipe type mix. But in case of cold mix, IRC SP100 suggests preparation of job mix formula. The next step is determination of, of optimum binder content. And procedure utilizes standard Marshall equipment. Marshall test specimens in triplicate are prepared with a different binder content. And binder here is bitumen emulsion. About 1100 gram of grade aggregates are made wet uniformly with optimum water content. Add bitumen emulsion, say 5% by weight of aggregate to the wet aggregates and mix it for one to two minutes for achieving uniform binder coating. This mixture is dried for about one to two hours using a fan. Then the cold mix is kept in oven at 40 degrees centigrade for two hours and then transferred into the Marshall mold with a filter paper on base plate and compacted with 50 blows on, of Marshall hammer on both faces. Similarly, prepare Marshall specimen at different bitumen emulsion content, say 6%, 7%, 8%, and 9% by weight of aggregate. Extract the specimens from the mold after 24 hours and cure in air oven at 40 degrees centigrade for 72 hours before stability test. Determine density, air wires, VMA, all parameters which are generally estimated and required in Marshall method of mixed design. Now, difference here is that Marshall stability and flow values are determined in dry state at 25 degrees centigrade. OBC is one or optimum binder content is one which satisfies the design requirements as given in this table. Marshall stability at 25 degrees centigrade should be minimum 350 kg. Marshall flow at 25 degrees centigrade, maximum 8 millimeter percent wires in the mix tend to 14 percent. Binder content that is residual bitumen should at least be 3.5 percent by weight of total mix and retained indirect tensile strength at 25 degrees centigrade after conditioning for 72 hours in air and 24 hours at 40 degrees centigrade in water should at least be 50 percent. Now, for measurement of this ITS or indirect tensile strength, two sets of samples are prepared at OBC. One set is conditioned normally, that is for 72 hours at 40 degrees centigrade in air oven and then determine ITS. The second set is conditioned in air for 72 hours in air and 24 hours at 40 degrees centigrade in water and then ITS is determined at 25 degrees centigrade. Then, ratio of these two values is the retained tensile strength. This bond test is explained in IRC SP100. Here, Marshall samples are prepared by 50 blows on one side. But important is that thickness of this specimen is only 30 to 40 millimeter. And the material used here is of the lower layer. So, if CMBM is to be laid on let us say bitumen concrete or HDBC, then this part of the Marshall specimen will be of HDBC material. If it is DBM, then this part will be of DBM material. 
then once the samples is cooled take it out from the mold and then apply tag coat at specified rate and allow this tag coat to cure for 24 hours at room temperature after the curing period the other part half part of the martial specimen is prepared but this time this material is of cold mixed bitmus macadam again applying by 50 blows so this total specimen of Marshall is prepared in two parts. One part is of the lower layer material and the second part is of the CMBM. And then after completion of the curing period, the sample is placed in the shear mold assembly in Marshall testing machine. And this is the shear mold, shear testing machine. Now here, that is the sample placed between the ring but this ring is in two part this is a front part which is semicircular and it holds the cmbm part of the sample and there is another part here behind this semicircular split plate which is holding the sample of the lower layer the load is applied on this front part and the sample fails in shear that is the strength of the tag coat so you note down the load taken by this bond of tag coat between the old material and new material and then divide this load by the surface area that is the bond strength and what IRC SP100 says that the bond strength of tag coat should be at least 2 kg per centimeter square. Next is construction of CMBM. CMBM shall not be laid during raining or when the granular base course is wet or when the atmospheric temperature in the shade is below 8 degrees centigrade. The underlying surface on which CMBM is to be laid shall be prepared, shaped and conditioned to a uniform grade and camber. All depressions, ruts or potholes shall be repaired in advance and the surface will be thoroughly cleaned. That is the preparation of underlying surface. The tag coat with emulsion shall be applied not earlier than 10 minutes before laying the cold mix. In case CMBM is to be laid on an existing bitmus layer, then tag coat should meet the criteria of bond strength. Shear strength of 2 kg per centimeter square is acceptable for good tag coat. And cold mix of proper and uniform quality should be prepared by using a cold mix plant or a modified hot mix plant switching off the heating arrangement. For plant produced cold mixes, the paving procedures are similar to those used for hot bitmus mixes. Cold mixes are generally stiffer than hot mixes or not as workable as hot mixed materials, particularly with open gilded mixture, which is very difficult to place. Proper paper operations is thus very critical for obtaining a uniform and smooth mat. For open graded mix like CMBM, the breaking of bitumen emulsion usually occurs very quickly and rolling may normally begin immediately behind the paper. Viability roller for open graded mixes like BM is not recommended because, fra because fracture of aggregate and bitumen debonding may occur. A light chalk or blotter of coarse sand or fine crusher screenings may be applied after steel wheeled rolling. This will permit rolling with pneumatic tire roller and prevent pickup of mix and damage of compacted layer. Adequate quality control at every stage of the work is essential. Periodic sieve analysis of Mineral aggregates, quality of aggregate to be checked once for every 100 meter cube of aggregate and periodic check for properties of emulsion such as resi residue content, viscosity and residue at 600 micron sieve must be carried out. Quality of emulsion can be tested at the rate of two sample per lot of 20 tons. For the compacted surface of every 700 meter square or less, one field density test shall be conducted to determine the density of mix as laid and compacted. 
and the density shall not be less than 95% of maximum laboratory density. The longitudinal profile of the finished surface shall be tested by 3 meter straight edge parallel to center line and the transverse profile by a camber plate. Any irregularity greater than 6 millimeter shall be corrected. So that is how cold mixed bitumen macadam is designed and constructed. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, any doubt, you can write in the comment box. Have a nice day.